Yo guys, it's no secret to anyone that deep working at times can be insanely laggy, especially during ganks with a lot of people. So to help with that, about 6 months ago, I made a video titled The Actual Best Optimization Guide for Deep Woken. But since then, Roblox has made a lot of changes and that video is pretty much completely invalid now. So I figured I should make a quick up to date guide after all of the changes Roblox has made. And hopefully after watching this video, your FPS should increase by a good amount. With that being said, enjoy this video. Alright, so I'll say this right off the bat, this video is only designed to help increase your FPS, not anything ping related, unlike my last video. If you don't have any problems with FPS, you can still give these methods a try because it can give you a competitive advantage in PvP, because it can reduce input lag and it can help a lot with visibility. But anyways, to get this out the way for newer players, uh, if you've noticed your FPS is terrible, this is for a very simple reason if you haven't done this, uh, you're going to want to go to settings, head to graphics, and turn on low graphics mode, and as you can see my FPS has just basically tripled. And by the way, to view your FPS, you just want to press Shift F5 on your keyboard. But the reason why my FPS has increased so significantly is because not too long ago, the Deep Woken devs changed up the C and that change made the game very, very laggy. So by turning on low graphics mode, you basically just revert the update. And as you can see, it boosts your FPS by a lot. I'm sure most of you guys knew this, but this is just to make sure for newer players. And of course, you can increase your FPS by pressing escape, putting your graphics to one. But that is something that everyone knew. Anyways, this is my FPS now, as you can see it's in the 300s, uh, dipping down to 200. Keep note of it because after I've done the method, I will show you guys what it is after. Just to show you guys that this actually works, but once you've done these basic things, low graphics mode, turn down your graphics, you're just going to want to escape out of Roblox. Uh, so once you've escaped out of Roblox, you're just going to want to press Windows R and then type percent, update a percent. You're going to go back one and then go to local. Once you've done that, just scroll down and then look for Roblox right here. Now go to versions and then go to the latest version. Now I only have one version because I reinstalled my Roblox for this video, but you probably have multiple versions. You're going to want to go to the latest version. Look at date modified and then look at the latest time and make sure it is up to date. Now once you've identified the latest one, just go to it and then press right click, new and then folder. You're going to name that folder client settings. Exactly like how I typed it, it is cap sensitive. Once that's done, go in it, press new again make a new text file, name it client app settings dot JSON, exactly like how I typed it. Click yes. Now you're going to go in and then you're going to go to the description of the video and you're just going to paste this here and I'll just press save. And there we go. Next time you open Roblox, the changes will be applied. Your FPS will be increased by a lot. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not doing this with Blockstrap, it's because Blockstrap made it so you just cannot edit your flags anymore. And then Voicetrap is missing some features. But keep in mind, you will have to do this again every time Roblox updates. So if you notice that your game just doesn't look the same anymore, then just do this process again. All right, and I'm just going to go back to Roblox. All right, so as you can see, the game looks completely different now. And if we go to the max graphics, you'll see that there is just no fog anymore. There's no visible fog. This helps a lot with visibility, and this is not bannable anymore. This used to be something that was bannable, but the mod team made it so you just cannot get banned for it anymore. And once you're in Roblox, this is very, very important, guys. Press Alt Enter to go into full screen. You know you've done it right if whenever you press F11 on your keyboard, it doesn't take you out of full screen. Now it's very important that you do this because this just increases your FPS by a ton. It also makes your game a lot, a lot more smoother. But if you look at my FPS now, I'm now hitting 500 and I'm consistently on 400 FPS. Previously, I was dipping down all the way to 200. So as you can see, this has increased my FPS by a lot. And this no fox stuff also gives you a huge advantage over others. Mainly in the depths, because as you know, the depths is a very dark place. And with this, it's completely clear. And I will show you guys how it looks like. But I'll say this again. Make sure that you press Alt Enter every time you want to go into full screen. Very, very important. And so as you can see, the game looks completely different now. And it is completely clear. But just to reiterate again, this is not bannable anymore. The mod team has officially said that you will not get banned for this. All right, now I'm going to move on to the next method. This will just make your game a lot smoother. All right, so this is a very quick one. Um, if you used to play Fortnite, you might have heard about this, but this is something called timer resolution, which I've left a link to in the description, of course. Once you have it installed, you're just going to click maximum and that's all you have to do. This will just reduce input lag and make your game a bit smoother. So it is always nice to have and it's completely free. All right, that's pretty much all I have to give you guys for today. If you guys want to get even more FPS, I've left out a video to fully optimize your Windows 11 in the description. It actually worked for me and did give me a pretty significant FPS increase. So shout out to the person who made it. And if you guys found this video helpful, do make sure to leave a like. And since you're already down there, you might as well just subscribe, get it out the way. But yeah, I just went on a crazy ramble. Anyways, see you guys.